Oh my gosh, look how cool they look! Guys, I've been waiting for these front doors for months. I ordered these at the beginning of August, and they're like, it's gonna be there at the end of August. I'm sorry, it's gonna be there at the end of September. I'm sorry, it's gonna be there in October. I'm sorry, it's gonna be at the end of November. And then finally, here it is in December, but they look so good. Even though some people say, uh, when I posted it on Twitter, that it looks like, like a P.F. Chang door. They said it's very an oriental door, and it also came with a, like a scratch. There's a scratch, Ooh! But it has these seven panes of glass, these big uh, metal handles. It's called the Zeus 7. This thing was like $3,500. It also cost $1,800 to install it. I don't know, but it looks legit. And then on the inside, hey, man, oh! Then on the inside, there's no like, uh, like handle to unlock it. It just has these little roller things that you just you know, push it closed and push it open. Then we have the lock. One thing is I wish it had like a little peephole. I mean, I have the uh, camera on the doorbell, but like, why can't I just, I, I just want to be able to see outside. This is all frosted, but it looks really good. And we got something for the upstairs. You want to see, dude? You want to see? Let's go, come on, come on, we gotta show the people, dude. Hey, dude, the blind people came. Well, I mean, they can see, but they, you know what I'm saying? They came to install the blinds. We have the same gray blackout roller shades as the downstairs. And the main thing I wanted to do was get them for the bedrooms for all the people that I have come over all the time. You know, we don't even have mattresses, but check it out because the window frames had these like arches in them. They actually designed these like block out arch things, but the bedrooms are kind of looking good. Uh, they're coming together. I still don't know what I'm doing with this one. I was thinking about turning it into like a crazy sex dungeon, but I'm not sure yet. But with these two identical rooms, they're looking so good. Oh my gosh. You know, the blue mango room. We have the butthole selfie mirror. Dude, look, look at this. Verified. Where? Not verified. Verified. Not verified. Verified. The only thing we're missing is a mattress. Do you have any idea where we can get a mattress, dude? Specifically for this video, right now, what you do? Like most people, sleep is really important to me, so I was super excited to partner with Helix for this video. Everybody's different, and Helix knows that, so they made a sleep quiz that matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Based on your different sleep positions and firmness preferences, they have something for everyone's unique taste. If you sleep with a partner, you can take the sleep quiz together and find something that's the perfect compromise for both of you. I personally am a back sleeper and anyone that sleeps in my guest rooms better be exactly like me because based on my results of the quiz, Helix matched me with their queen sized Moonlight Luxe mattress. What I like the most about getting the Helix mattress is how easily you can just order it online. And the best part about all of this is that Helix delivers your mattress right to your door for free. So if you guys are interested, they even have a 100 night sleep trial. So you get more than three months to make sure you like it or they will come and pick it up and give you a full refund. So check them out and visit the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash max for up to $200 off your mattress and two free pillows. Thanks again to Helix for sponsoring this video and hooking up my guests with some sick mattresses, dude. Ooh, what do you think, man? Oh, it's comfy. All of our guests are gonna be living so lavish at the Maxi Pad Hotel with their very own golden doodle coming complimentary with every room. And then maybe you wanna watch a Max Tuning YouTube video to unwind. Or maybe you're in the mood for one of those like, what are you doing, step bro? You know, kind of videos, whatever, it's up to you. But that was a workout putting that together. What? You say we still have the workout? That didn't count as a workout? We should go work out? We're gonna go work out? You don't even understand what I'm saying? Okay, let's go. This is like you versus the guy she says is just a friend at work and needed to chill. They're just going to get drinks. It's like for happy hour, just relax, you know? Got no ring on this finger now. I'll never let another chick bring me down. A relationship, save it, bitch. Baby, sick, make me sick. Superman ain't saving sick. Girl, you can jump on Katie. <laughs> sick. Why am I this annoying, dude? Like, I guess gets shit everywhere. I don't even think anyone thinks it's cool. I think it's cool. Do you think it's cool? 
No, okay. Today on the deadlift, we have to work up to a 4x4 of 435 pounds, which of course in Spanish is cuatro siete cinco. All right, guys, there's a couple things in life that you shouldn't do. Like try to time the stock market and get out of like 20 shares of your Tesla stock when it's dipping down, and then you think you can just get in at a lower entry point, and then you sell it, and then it goes right back up. So then you're like, oh crap, and you freak out, and then you get in at a higher entry point, but then it starts going back down. And you're like, okay, oh my gosh, I'm gonna sell them again, and then as soon as you sell, it goes back up again, and you try to get back in at even a higher point, and you end up just like losing hundreds of dollars on a single day. You don't wanna do that, and you also don't want to grip and rip. So this is how I do my deadlifts, right? I'm like. <laughs> What you want to do is take the slack out of the bar. So what that means with the deadlift bar is the amount of flex that you see right here, you want to pull that out so it's not like throwing you forward on the deadlift. Yeah, so what you would want to do is like this, pull the slack out, sit back. That's no fun. Try to stop time the stock market. Grip it and rip it. Do whatever you want. Now I know what you're thinking, Max, dude, your deadlift strength is just so crazy, man. How you just ripped that weight off the ground? Let me show you an exercise that has not gotten any easier in the past like 10 years I've been working out. Pull-ups. I'm gonna try to do 10. Ooh. 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 What was that, like seven? Ooh. This is, I'm not even like playing. Why are pull-ups so hard? How do people do weighted pull-ups? Like how? Do you guys think I can do a muscle up? Here we go. Ooh. Oh fuck, hold on. You have to like swing and then, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Oh, I'm gonna pop my shoulder out. You know, we don't give up. We don't give up. Yeah, dude! Yeah! Dude, what can't I do? Get a girlfriend. So, pretty solid workout. It's only like six o'clock. I hate. What was that, man? Oh, 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 you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. What I was saying is it's only six o'clock and it's like so dark. The only bad thing about daylight savings time is like the sun's not out. Like when it's dark, there's no sun. And I'm like, ugh. Guys, I don't know what it is, but I literally love sad music like i want music to just like cut me down to my core and make me think about every situation that i've ever been into like when i listen to music like this new song i found uh falling by harry styles and i just found it the other day i get chills and i don't know why. I, i've been obsessed with it for like so long whether it's sad drake stuff or like whether it be halsey you know i i don't know i just I what does that mean like why do i like sad music I don't know. I just love it so much. Now I'm just gonna go eat my Chipotle and think about the girl that didn't hold my hand in the third grade. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I gotta slow down, cause when you're near, everything that I plan just goes away. They said that we were gonna take it slow. I just want it right now. I just want it right now. <laughs>
right, and it looks the exact same. So we got the clear condom bra on the front and the ceramic coating on the back. So it's protected, but it doesn't, it's not like a, like a mod that you do that's like, oh, I got new wheels, dude. It's like a multivitamin. No, you take it because it's good for you. It's good for the car. It's gonna help protect. Man, I feel like I'm at Chili's right now because I got my baby back, baby back, baby back. Audi RS Q8. Is that good? Or the worst joke you ever made. No, that was, I was thinking about that one. It was good. But Mo did a good job. If you ever, guys, ever need anything, uh, his info will be right on the screen. But to be honest, I'm gonna drive this bad boy back home. Got like a 30 minute drive, and to go real fast, and I need to get a haircut because this stuff is looking crazy right now. Dude, I always get crap in my lens. What the f Oh my God, what the, you're so fresh, Max. You look so fresh, Max. Thanks, guys. So we just picked ourselves up from some delicious chipotle. Of course, we got the white rice, we have the fajitas, we have the carne asada, we have the chicken, we have the medium, we have the mild, we have the tortilla on the side because we're living lavish, spending 25 cents on a tortilla. It really hurts my soul every single time. They're like, that's gonna be 25 cents extra, is that okay? I always make a joke, I'm always like, well, it's not okay, but I'll do it. They're like, do you want the tortilla, sir? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just give me the tortilla. But I just realized they didn't give me a fork. There's no plastic fork, which is really frustrating because now I'm gonna have to use a spoon. Guys, things taste different when you insert them into your mouth different ways. And it's the, Chipotle, you need the plastic, dude, because it's just like, So with my Chipotle, I was sucking down one of these bad boys, a diet ginger ale, which is actually one of the best sodas because not only is it delicious, ginger ale doesn't have caffeine. So if you get the diet one, that means no sugar because we don't drink our calories unless we're drinking our calories. But that means you can drink these at like whatever time of the day. But that reminded me that I wanted to show you something. When I was buying my ice machine that is in my Magajita bar, I was always like, why is this thing so expensive? Because the ice machine is like over $2,000. I'm like, it's ice! I get ice out of the, the freezer, right? It's the same thing. Well, it's not, and I'm gonna show you what the difference is. So if you look on this ice, which is from the, you know, from the fridge, See how it's all like opaque or, you know, it's like white looking? And then this one is all clear because this is purified ice and this has all like air and stuff in it. Uh, you can't see it because it's air, but watch what happens. Okay, ready? Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Are you watching? Are you watching? Okay, watch. Watch, watch. Look at the, look at the, look at the fizz. Look at, look at the fizz. No fizz? Fizz. Oh, there's all my carbonation. Where? Oh, carbonation, no. Oh, see if you do this, then you drink it and you're like, oh, so flat, man. Oh, it's flat, dude. Where, where did all the bubbles go, man? This one, delicious, carbonated, science, ice. Okay, I wanna show you one more thing actually. Joe told me to get a milk frother and he says it's gonna change my life for mixing like greens or protein powder. Cause obviously I use a shaker, but if I don't have one, I use my little ninja thing. And he says this frother is going to just, he says it's the best thing ever. He's like, you just, you like mix it up. He, that's how he talks. He's like, you make mix it up and then you just like run it under water and then it's like clean. And it's like, oh my God, you don't like use shakers or anything. Now I feel like this, cause let me try to turn this on, on. Oh my God. I feel like this is just gonna spray this shit everywhere. Does it help? Ow. I, I think, let's see. I think this is just gonna, sp if, if this sprays everywhere, let's try this out. Oh my fucking God. Joe, you dumb piece of shit. Where's it going? I'm so angry right now. That was, I guess. I gotta send Joe a stupid. Oh, my name is Joe the Giraffe. If you get the milk frother, it'll just make your life easier. Oh, thank you, Joe. Thank you for nothing, Joe. Now I know there is two things that I can't listen to Joe about: building muscle and milk frothers. Hey, dude. Hello. Hello. Do you want to tell the people what you did yesterday? Do you want to tell the people? Why we had to replace this? Huh? Dude? Did you do this? 
Did you break this plant? Did you? Did you? Dude! That's okay, man. I forgive you. You can just like Venmo me like 20 bucks whenever you get the chance. But I think I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching it. If you could, just take two seconds and hit the thumbs up button. It really does help the channel out. And I want to just say thank you for the overwhelming support that I got at the end of the previous video. Which is crazy when I get a lot of comments about something that I say at the end because I'm like, I feel like people click off my videos. I don't know if it's like too long or if I get too annoying. So when I say something at the very end, I'm like, I don't think anyone's gonna see this, but um, I really appreciated all of the nice things you guys had to say. And I know that we have a pretty tight knit family here. You guys understand me and hopefully, like I make videos talking to my audience, not really talking to like people who have never watched one of my videos. So that's probably where I rub people the wrong way or people have assumptions about me because I don't know. They haven't seen me enough. <laughs> they haven't fallen in love with myself and Mr. Dude yet, but they will. Won't they, dude? Won't they? <gasps> Won't they? Won't they? He's like, take me for a walk, Dad. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna go take him for a walk. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a good Sunday. Hope you have a good week. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Eat more sour strips and ever forward. Woof! Why don't you love me? Why don't you love me? Why don't you love me? Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Alright, let's go for a walk. Ow.